this is Miss Farah over here welcome back and this is just a quick and short tutorial on where to find your test paper for your test tomorrow there will be a slight change from what I have briefed you guys from our previous class so I hope that you guys will stay with me on this one so ladies and gentlemen the first thing that you have to do is just to open your blackboard now this is your ENL 1211 blackboard I hope that you know where to find and um, know where to get into this so the first thing that you have to do is basically google um, inti blackboard and it will come out to have something like this this is how your interface will look like and obviously you need to go and find our semester that is august 2021 and have a look at this subject list and go to your enl1211 blackboard now once you have gotten into your ENL 1211 Blackboard, it will look something like this. So I need you guys to go to content and go to week 6. Alright, so this is your week 6. Now this is where your test paper will be. Now I have spent some time briefing you guys on the test paper or on the test question in our previous class. So very obviously the same thing applies again for the test. There are only two questions. Both will be essay outline and it is 20 marks for each essay outline. Um, you guys can know more about it by clicking on this folder here and you will find two different items. Now, tomorrow, probably there only will be one item as this item will be hidden from you and it will only be available to you before the actual test itself. The reason is because there will be, uh, I will be uploading the test paper, so this will be hidden for you. However, at 12 p.m., automatically the test paper or this item here will be available for you guys to see tomorrow. All right, so um, the slight change would be uh, in my previous class, I mentioned to you guys that you have to create your own um, answer sheet. You have to open a Word document and stuff like that. So to make it easy, I have created a very simple answer template to everyone. Um, and this um, answer template is very basic. Uh, I hope that it doesn't um, contribute to the high similarity index for your safe assign report. However, if that happens, if it's um, you know exceeding slightly 20%, like for example, your safe assign um, report is like 28%, for instance, I shall be looking at the report to see which similarity is it about. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what you have to do tomorrow, the first thing is to go and find the test paper. Now, the test paper obviously is not yet available. Uh, it will be in a form of a PDF question or PDF format. And uh, the next thing for you to do is to download the answer a sheet template here, uh, which is this one. So basically, once you have downloaded it, it, it will look something like this. Please remember to write your name, your student ID, and our section is 8C. All right, so our section is 8C. Please remember that because I understand you guys probably came from a different um, section before, but now you guys are in 8C. All right, so let's move into the next thing that you have to do tomorrow. Once you have downloaded both test paper and also answer sheet, what you have to do is start working on your um essay outline so for instance you would like to do question two so uh, please start working on uh, all of these okay start working on it uh, please remember to remove this um, line here so that you can start working on the answers okay okay all right, it really depends on you whether or not you want to put a underline down there. If you don't want to put it, it's also fine. Uh, start working on the test uh, once you're done. Let's say, for example, once you're done. And importantly, <coughs> most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to do your reference list, you need to make sure to do the reference list at the end of each essay outline. So these are the references. Uh, Okay, 
blah, 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 blah. All right, so if you want to do the references, make sure that you do it after each um, essay outline here. All right, so the next thing for you to do, let's um, believe that you have done your test paper. All of these has been um, finished and also filled in and you're ready to end, sorry, you're ready to submit your test paper. What you have to do is to click on file, click on share S, and then you can um, save it to um, the, save it to any places that it's easier for you to access. And please remember to save it according to the format that I have visualized and also mentioned in the items in also in the previous session in our class, I also mentioned about this. So what you have to do is just to write your course code, your test one type of assessment, and then write down your full name over here. All right, so this is how you save your uh, Word document or you save your answer uh, for your test tomorrow. So once you're done, you guys can go to here to upload your final answer. All you have to do is click on here. Okay. Um, click on browse local files and go back and try to find the um, test paper that you have uploaded previously. So ladies and gentlemen, please remember that you only have one single submission. Okay, you only have one chance and make sure that you actually double check your answer. Have a look at the file name. Is it the one that you wanted to uh, you wanted me to mark and check. Make sure that's the correct one. Once you have confirmed that is the uh, thing that you want to um, upload, please click on I agree to submit my paper here if you want to. And then please don't forget to click on this red button here that says submit. Okay, so please remember that um, the save assign uh, Safe Assigned Similarity Index Report will be available for you to see if there is any um, similarity in terms of if you have copied or similar answers from the internet, yada yada, all those things. Will only be automatically available for you to see the report probably about half an hour or one hour. Okay, again, with the similarity index uh, report, I shall be looking at the report. If it's uh, way too many similarity or it's too high, definitely there will be some penalty, uh, especially if you're copying from your friend. It doesn't really matter if the friend comes from a different section or the same section as you, uh, or if you're copying from the internet or any kind of books that they are available. All right. So this is where um, I want to see your honesty when it comes to your academic writing. And please do not do plagiarism. You guys have learned on how to write or uh, how to paraphrase and also how to summarize. You should be able to do all of these very, very easily. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, that is all it for a quick tutorial. Just a gentle reminder for everyone else. There is a slight change as I have Sorry, I have provided everyone here with a template. Um, previously, I mentioned that you guys have to do it or open a new Word document. Now, I have shared with you guys a simple template. Uh, hopefully, it will not contribute uh, to a high similarity index to your uh, test paper. But do not worry about it because whenever I'm marking your test paper, I shall be looking at the report to double check on the similarity index. All right, guys, thank you all very, very much for watching. Um, please have a good day today and good luck for your test tomorrow. Bye.